The country could be forced to take drastic measures to protect the Kong population. With the Queen Kong holding such cultural importance, officials say now is the time to act, as Cleopatra Murphy tells us. A possible ban on conch exports and making fishermen land their catch in their shells are just some of the options being considered by the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources following a report by Community Conch and Chicago Shed Aquarium suggesting that within 10 to 15 years, the country's rapidly depleting conch stock would no longer be able to sustain commercial fishing. The study was done over a 10-year period from 2007 to 2017. Acting Director of Fisheries Edison Delavo says the concern is very real and the study supports the concerns officials have expressed for years. All you have to do is visit any conch landing site where there's a pile of conch shell normally referred to as a conch mitten. When you look at those mittens you would see huge quantities of juvenile conch. That is evidenced that juvenile conchs are being landed. Um, persons right now having to go deeper waters and further afield to find conch. He says the issue is not so urgent for far-flung family islands where fishing grounds are not so heavily fished, but Delavo maintains efforts must be made now to ensure future sustainability. That involves consulting all stakeholders from fishermen to restaurant owners. Delavo says one long-term consideration is enforcing a minimum shell thickness for harvesting. For that to have meaning, we will have to look at possibly the landing of conch in the shell. Currently the practice is persons go to sea, some persons landing up as much as 60,000 pounds of conch meat. That has become a thing of the past. Delavo says fishermen have already weighed in on some of the recommendations the ministry hopes to make to government and there are points of agreement. One of them is a closed season he suggests can be for one month in August as conch reproduce in the summer. Another is an export ban. Delavo says commercially the country exports some 650,000 pounds or 5 million conch annually. We may have to look at prohibiting the export of conch in general because the bulk of what is being landed is being consumed locally in either case. It's just that during the closed lobster season, to allow fishers to continue to make a livelihood, we allow them to continue to harvest conch. But again, too, we may have to also look at a closed conch season. Right now, he says there are steps everyone can take to preserve the queen conch. We can ensure that we are harvesting adult conchs. Number two, that we encourage those persons who are engaged in law enforcement, such as the police, defense force, and the like, to pay more attention and to assist the department in what, what it's doing to monitor the landing. Number three, to encourage fishermen themselves to land only what should be landed. Cleopatra Murphy, S N S Network News.